to mix our schools throughout the state. Diane Lennon. my honor and privilege to be here. So it's really nice to be here. Uh, as an educator for over 30 years, I really do know what to do to fix our schools. Having worked in at-risk high schools as well as the California Youth Authority with gang members, young men ages 14 to 25 from LA and Orange County, I know what to do to fix our schools. There are no surprises for me. And we have over a 50% dropout rate in California. Just think, if we could have the $1.1 billion used for crime-related expenses for those dropouts to educate them instead. That's our goal. One of the major things we want to do, and we want to provide safety at our schools. In our district, we had two police on campus at all times the last 10 years, and we immediately saw more engaged learning on our campus because kids feel safe to come to school and to attend their classes. And I see we have a candidate for sheriff here today who's maybe going to tell you more about that. I'll just, there it goes. I turn it back on and off. Uh, I think it's going to keep going out though. I'll talk loud. Uh, there are at least a hundred things we could do to improve our schools. But I think three or four things a year is a worthy idea of goals. And besides reducing the dropout rate and safe schools, we also need to make sure that we have curriculum that meets the needs of those young people. More vocational education will supply the skills and training for young people who want a job right after high school, who may not want to go to college. Not every young person wants to go to college. We also need to make sure that um, our young people are prepared in many other ways with leadership training, but we also need to make sure, for instance, LA Unified has some difficulties with overspending in their administrative costs. Yeah. Every time I mention a number, someone says it's higher, <laughs> but I've heard as much, you know, it can change each year, but I've heard as much as 50 
is now a national focus because of my work within the ADA. Reducing the school dropout rate is important. We have over 50% of our young people who are not graduating in this state. Therefore, we spend $1.1 billion a year in crime-related expenses for those young people under age 18 who dropped out. Wouldn't it be better to be spending that money to educate them? Not only would it provide a better life for them, it would also improve our society and our economy. Secondly, we need to make sure that we have accuracy in textbooks. As a history teacher, I have seen the revisionist work done within our textbooks. This is how the liberal agenda has taken over the national control of power. They've been working on this for 30 years. I am now connected with several groups who are working for accuracy in textbooks. I can sit down and have direct input in these textbooks and take five minutes. I know where to look. I've taught in almost every subject for over 30 years. And I can have direct impact to make sure that we have accuracy in textbooks. One of the reasons it's important to do that is because we can make sure, uh, along with this idea that I have come up with, to provide and ensure that our young people can pass the torch of liberty to each generation is by an idea I come up with to require a minimum competency test in civics and government so that our young people will know the characteristics of a democratic republic. And when we use words like socialist or Marxist or monarchy or autocracy or democratic republic or democracy, they'll know what each one is and the differences are. And when I taught this in history classes, when students got the whole picture, they overwhelmingly chose a democratic republic. We also need to make sure our schools are safe. I see I'm running out of time. I'll just close it up quickly. I want you to make sure that you really think seriously about the candidate who has the leadership expertise and the ability to stand up in this year of 2010 and represent us well. I began my TE party speaking on that first day, April 15th, in Seal Beach, where we had 1,000 people attend. I've been doing this campaign for months and will continue to do so. And I'll be up there standing for you and with you, providing leadership and ideas and legislation as a third year law student and president of the Federalist Society. I know how to write legislation too. So I look forward to you working with me and me with you, and thank you so much.